here we are back in League of Legends. Queued up, auto filled into the bot lane, so we're gonna give it a shot. So I'm gonna play someone I picked up a while ago because I wanted to use his custom skin, but I never got the chance. Agony. So part of the reason why I want Varus here is I believe he still inflicts grievous wounds on Soraka, so well on the person she heals, that is. As for the page I'm running, since Camille got through, Poppy would actually be a good blind pick. Like, I didn't even think about it, but Poppy just abuses her like no tomorrow. You can E her out of her ult, you can ult her out of her ult. There's so many scumbag things you can do, and an Eve top is gonna feed, most likely, I'm afraid. So you want the attack speed, I'm gonna take fresh blood. We'll take Vampirism so I can stain better. We want Battle Trance. Battering Blues, Fervor Battle. And I want Greenfather's Gift because I can always duck into the brush and shoot out if need be. Kench Jungle would not actually be bad in this setup. Renekton would be awful though. So, really, I don't like telling people what to play, because if things go wrong, then they'll probably start blaming you. Blitz is fine, we have a strong early, kind of. Now, generally on Varus, I like to start W, because it helps you last hit. Plus, if you get any early skirmishes uh, with the Battle Trance, as it ramps up, that'll increase that damage, too. This one I will answer. Now, I don't own any skins for him, like I said. I picked him up because he had a Red Lantern skin, which isn't really operational right now. So I don't know if this is Nar Jungle or Yasuo Jungle. The main thing I'm worried about with just the bot lane in general these days is it's pretty common to actually see everyone go bot to kill you. So one of the nice things about Varus is I can throw out my ult and hopefully make my getaway. Plus, Varus was recently buffed. So yeah, you can't find out who I am, I'm sorry. And yes, I put that there specifically because I knew it was going to record my screen, since I'm setting things up like this. So that's interesting. Now, odds are this is going to be a farm line Yasuo jungle. I'm not entirely sure how this is going to play out. Hmm. Be honest. Oh, these two switch. I wasn't even paying attention to their summoner spells. That makes a lot more sense. Okay. One crisis averted. The one thing that sucks is if the enemy team has Nar, I don't actually mind having Yasuo on my team. Because of the way the wind wall and everything works, and how you can create distance with just using your E, Yasuo is a very solid pick in an R. But that'll be a topic for another day. In the meantime, enemy team is showing one courage, two warlords, one thunderlords, one wind speakers. We have a much more balanced team for that. We have a deathfire, a, a courage, thunderlords, fervor, and bond of stone. Now, I haven't uploaded an AD carry video, I want to say, since probably a year ago, and damn, I actually should have played COG since it's winter summer surfed. My purpose is Pretty much after the whole AD carry rework, I had no desire to play bot lane anymore. I'm going to be playing it differently than probably people are accustomed to, and we'll see how it fares overall. So if Renekton wants a leash, he can get it. It's also possible for us to invade. Now the thing is, Eve face checking is a bit of a gamble. And we do need Blitz to be higher up. 30 seconds until minions spawn. They could be on our buff. They probably went this way while we went up here. Yeah, I plan on staying to help you leash. Oh, they want us to do a death brush type deal. I'm on borrowed time. This is when it sucks to be one of the slower characters in the game. 
Minions have spawned. I'm not gonna take a skill yet, just in case I need to grab my Q or my E. More than likely, it's gonna have to be my E, to be honest, since I can slow them and deny the Soraka heals. Bloodshed carries a price. Okay, grabbing W. So we may miss a little CS. I am Crud. Now, I do outrange Twitch by 25. Only cowards flee their fate. Crap. So yeah, hopefully you can tell it's been a while since I played AD Carry. Okay, they traded. I was about to say, Fizz getting a kill on Ari is quite a surprise. Give me the cannon, if anything. No turning back. And I need to go back since I have 10 HP. So Blitz got the kill, but that's not necessarily the end of the world. And I just noticed he started cold. I kinda need to start paying attention to these things. So I'm gonna wait for the gold for one potion, but we are going to be going for Essence Reaver first. The main reason why I wanted boots is so I can get around more quickly without my uh, flash. And I should actually be able to outdamage Twitch significantly from here. Technically, he does have 18 more gold, which is basically one more CS number, but I do have the assist. So you can see he's actually going crit. If we get in a straight up fight, Holy unless cow, he gets a lucky crit, he's dead.
So I do need a Pokemon when he goes in the last hit. They come out ahead there because they got the assist to go with it. Give me a target. Them to their end. So there's also a sound effect when you hit the max stack. I don't know if that was always there, but that's something new. Okay, fall back, Blitz. We got the exhaust straight. one of those, but you can see I'm starting to pull ahead in CS. At this point, all I have to do is just keep the advantage zone as possible, and we should win just due to pressure and other lanes and everything. Okay, if he lands someone... Throw his W, so I need to get over here. So let's duck in here. I said duck in here, proc green father. And damn it, it hit this minion first, so that absorbed the green father hit. Sadly, his I old passive is I pushing must. this. Crud, I didn't mean to hit that one. Actually good to get out. The main reason why I'm willing to go is I do have enough gold here to get my BF. Let's grab two potions this time. And he is starting to catch up and see us a little bit. The thing is, now I have significant lifesteal advantage with this BF sword. It's right here. So overall, that is 60 AD there, plus 8, 68. An ally has been slain. And they might be making a resurgence somewhere. 
Bloodshed carries a price. I land my queue, I want to end flash. But I'd like to max W second for more burst. It's also going to indirectly buff my ult because your ult applies stacks. If it connects to someone, it will just keep going until it applies max stacks. She got aggressive, that's how I can tell. So I'll be able to get the crit cloak, and then I should be able to keep up with his crit damage. It's just he'll have a bit of an attack speed edge. The alternative is I could go for tier 2 boots. Those would be 800, and I actually like that idea better, to be honest. That way I can get back to lane more quickly, and I can shoot more. Does he even have... No, he doesn't. He has 346 movement speed at the moment, and I'll have the zeal bonus when I get there. So if I only have the, ba the same base movement speed. Beware a man with nothing to lose. So I'm going to ping to my team one minute on my ult in case someone wants to do something somewhere. Overall, I would not recommend Eve gank this lane at the moment. Right there, I made sure we killed the tower so Eve didn't die in the dive. Do what I must. And if they can take that, I would prefer they do that so I can just farm up here. I'm staying here because I want to keep bullying Twitch, pretty much. I have the advantage on him, so I want to make his life miserable. For a second there, I thought he was going to try to stealth in and kill me, but we can see him up here now. So we're going to get this, and I want the crit component first, because it's going to increase my overall burst damage just by getting lucky crits here and there. But the secondary effect is it's also going to give me CDR through the Essence Reaver. 
Plus, by having more crit, I also get more mana back through my auto attacks. So overall, we're sitting on 31% attacks, our crit speed, our crit rate, because I am running one crit rune in my reds. Otherwise, it's attack speed, quints, scaling armor yellows, scaling armor blues, and 880 reds. Now, since Soraka's here, that means so is Twitch. And if I can create enough pressure here to hold two of them, my team can push other lanes. Okay, Twitch is showing mid. So had I went on her, I probably would have killed her. <laughs> or at least I would have forced her to burn her ult and probably her flash. Maybe her exhaust, too. can't stay here because Ari can just jump in and kill me. Plus, our jungler is going top. <laughs> so regardless of what item I get next, I believe I need the dagger. But as is, I'm going to be going Hurricane. The main reason for that is it's going to spread out my W procs, and then it's just overall increased burst damage. Fire off a spell after every third hit to proc your W. Okay, let's go mid. They might surrender in 30 seconds, we'll see. And yes, Varus does have a damage fall off as his arrows hit multiple things. That's why I was able to kill two of the ranged, but not the third. And right now, I would like to get the two towers that are low just to boost our overall gold. Teleport denied. So let's see. Five, four, three, two, one. means she wasn't there. Kinda wish I could actually load the um, the right recommended stuff because if you didn't know at the end of the year they said hey looking to try these champions. I don't know if this was a glitch or what but on mine they said I'm the best Varus NA. Like that's a freaking joke. I don't play AD carry. It's the first time in over a year I did it. Sure, I got an S, but that's completely beyond the point. This shouldn't count. So let's see, damage dealt to champions. I prefer the graphs myself. So quite a bit higher. You can see their big guy was Nar. 
Twitch was doing pretty decently, but he was just going to start falling further and further behind. He finished that, and then I guess he was going for Tier 2 Boots and maybe Infinity Edge. As for what I was going to do, it was going to be Essence Reaver into Hurricane. As I said, the Hurricane is going to allow me to spread my W procs, and my spells deal burst damage, etc., etc. Once I have that, since there's no big tank we have to... Ah, they tell you who's AFK. Reported. So, um, after the Hurricane, I planned on going for the Infinity Edge. Had they had a tank, Nars kind of tanky, but he's not, he doesn't have armor. I could have gotten a Last Whisper item immediately after. It's just to further maximize my burst damage, I needed an Infinity Edge. But yeah, that's that for now. I'm the Hero of Light, thanks for watching, and goodbye.